we see that in the craft of research in the idea that their claim is, I mean their claim, is that the warrant links the reason to the claim. Right? And what I'm saying is no, the warrant doesn't link the reason to the claim, the warrant li actually links the evidence to the claim. Right? You remember the, the thing down there to the thing down here. Right? So that, uh, the warrant is linking the evidence to the claim, but it needs to do it through that arch, that arc, right? going through that, that, that kind of a general rule. Right? Uh, and it has to do all three pieces of that. Right? Okay. Questions to this point? That make sense? No? Okay. No questions? All right, well, maybe I'll ask you a question. Um, um, so, just, to, just as, as a sum up question, right? Um, um, what is the main function of a warrant? Yes? It links to the evidence of the claim. Great. Okay, um, and what does it have to do in order to link the evidence to the claim? It has to go through the reasoning, um, and there's three pieces of that. What are the three pieces of linking the evidence to the claim? Somebody else? What do we have to do in order to link the evidence to the claim? Yes? Okay, you have to look at the specific example and see how it's an example of, um, uh, of, of something general. Okay, good. That's the first thing. What's the second thing? Anybody? The second thing? It was, the, it was the arrow going across on top, right? What's that arrow? Somebody? I'm sorry? Yes, okay. So you, you have one general thing that's going on, and you're saying that when it, that happens, then this other thing also happens, right? So there's an implication of one general thing going to another general thing. Okay, good. And then what's the third piece? Mr. there go down. What's what's that? Yes. Okay. So you you have to link back that general consequence back down to the claim. And what what I'm also indicating here, and this is something I actually I I, I, I didn't mention, is that that. Um, that claim that we have, the specific claim, is also something that happens in the world. Right? It's a specific thing. Right? So the mayor is involved in something crooked that's obviously a, a specific kind of event. Right? It's not something general. Right? So, so we're moving from a specific thing that happens in the world, a specific event, to another specific event. And we're saying that if we see this event, this other event must have happened as well. Right? And so those, both of the things on the bottom here are specific events right, that you can point to. Right? Okay? And, we're, getting, and, we're, and we're, we're saying that when you see this one event, this other event also happens. Right? Okay? Oh, um, help me. How, how do we go back? Backspace? Back arrow? Ah, yes, okay. Okay, so it's saying that when, when, you're, when the FBI has been questioning the mayor's staff, that's an example of a sign of crooked behavior, right? So that there's something, somebody, somebody's done something wrong, right? Okay, uh, it could be a sign of, you know, what, what could be, uh, it could be a sign that um, the FBI is bored and they don't know what to do, they, they got to do something, right? So that, yeah, so, so, so it's saying that it's, it's that rather than that, right? Okay? Um, it's also linking up to this because what, what it's saying is that the FBI questioning is also 
leading to this idea that there's somebody's done something wrong. Right? And that's, yeah? So this is an example. Questioning is a sign of somebody doing something wrong. And then there's this, uh, that relationship of, yes, somebody's, somebody's done something wrong when we've got this questioning. Right? Um, and then that's explaining how then that something, something that is wrong has to be connected with the mayor's office because they're questioning the mayor's staff. We're going to get to that to the end of the, at the end of class. I'm going to go through an example of that. It'll be at the end, yeah, right. But it's not it's not something that's in the text, right? Generally, yeah, it's not something you're going to be able to, to point to in the text. The warrant, all right? Yes. Um, it's it's an underlying truth that the text that you're reading accepts but it's not necessarily an underlying truth that everybody accepts, right? Okay. For example, one of the underlying truths of, of Hobbes' text, and we'll go into that again today, is that you can read the Bible in order to figure out what the origin of language is. And that's, you know, that's an underlying truth of his text, but it's not something that, that all of us would agree with. Okay. 